So this is a great exercise that helps create some space around the hip flexor, the quad muscle and the quad tendon, and get it more warm for global movements and just get your hip mobility back on par to where it needs to be, okay? In order to achieve this, we need some type of a bigger structured ball, like a slam ball, that's quite big in circumference. We would use a wall, okay? And obviously a mat just for some cushioning for the back uh, knee that's going to be affected by this particular stretch, okay? Very classic one that has a little bit more added to it. Typically people do this particular stretch where they have their foot on the wall, and then maybe they have a bench of some sort that they're stretching here, and then to advance that, they would stretch here, okay, and get that extension. This is quite different, because now we're gonna ask you to do the same type of stretch component, but add some global mobility and floss around the hip tone. So in order to achieve that, we introduce the ball. The ball gives us something to actually cause compression with. More importantly, I'm pressing my footprint down into that, which can help stretch out some of these anterior muscles in the shin and feed into this system here. Okay, in order to get this, of course, you need some support. Using your hands as a tripod, more importantly, using your foot as a tripod, I like to lean into this profile here. Getting into that position, you know, or initially feel a good stretch in the quad, okay? Place, presence of weight or intent of placing your foot on top of that said ball. You'll lean slightly forward to get a little bit more space, and the goal is to globally floss around the hip joint, oscillating in smaller circles, okay? Hard part about this is when I typically pull into the ball, it's almost like I'm trying to raise it towards my knee. The point of this particular exercise is to use the wall and place emphasis going downward more so than pulling towards your face or towards your knee. So place the ball into the wall and then you're gonna pulse around that area in smaller circular gaps. And that can slowly but surely create a little bit more space into the hip joint. And when you go to try some movements, any standing profile or change direction, you're going to have a little bit more wiggle room.